Welcome in once again to the YGO Fresh Off The Press community where we analyze the current posts, trends and forecasts of the Yu-Gi-Oh markets. We're here to feed that Yu-Gi-Oh market watch cardboard addiction. You guys already know. Also, don't forget to smash the like button as it helps with the algorithm. Just find more people like you guys to join our amazing Yu-Gi-Oh community. Also, we have the notification bell so that you guys can keep up with our latest and greatest fresh off the press videos. Make sure you guys click that as well. Thank you so much, guys, for the support, the likes, the comments, the vibes from the beautiful Yu-Gi-Oh community. You guys are really the MVPs. All right. Also, remember that this content is not any official financial advice. It's created for entertainment purposes only. Guys, we have a Discord. Link in the description down below. You can swing by, join up. Great community over there. We're growing day by day. So make sure that you don't miss out and you check that out. We also have the Twitters. You know what I mean? The Twitters link in the description down below as well. If you have it, join us on over there. So today's content, a lot of price swings, you know, with certain meta cards and other cards as well. So we're going to start with triple tactics thrust guys, broken card. It's just broken. You can fetch a spell or trap from your deck. Why not? Why not? Single print from Photon Hypernova. Guys, it used to be a $68 card, pumped up to 80 once again. And now you can find it just under 70 bucks. You know, small time seller, but 100% with 45 sales. Not bad. But then it quickly goes up to 70 and then $75 eventually. So, I mean, the card is just so, it's so good. I mean, it is what it is. Cards like these, they're part of the meta they're broken um and you can see it reflected on the price where you had a low and now you have consolidation in price just going sideways and uh you know it's it's a good card it's broken as part of the meta so definitely one to keep in mind guys then we have cash tyrotheosis guys this secret rare from photon hypernova once again used to be worth essentially triple digits guys essentially there were some listings that sold around 100 billies for this card and it's down 4x straight insanity guys down 4x in just a couple of weeks essentially a month you could say it's crazy it is it is honestly guys i mean it's such a broken card for the cash tier deck and um you know it's very much needed for them but man the hype was real people thought it was going to be tier zero things of that nature and you saw that came out went down to 60 pumped up to 100 and now it's just been in, in a free fall look at that guy it's just falling week by week making new lows just 25 bucks now wow wow it's insane just how this card has dumped into the markets guys then we have a millennium eyes restrict guys i love cards like these why Hey, we do market watches. We have to analyze the past. This card used to be 60 billies for this card. And before then, it was always a $17, $18 card when it was a single print. Um, well, this was the secret rare. I'm sorry. The the other one, this one, that's crazy. This one reached 60 bucks. But there's a the first set of originals. Yo, that's crazy. Ultra rare got reprinted in Mama as well, as we can see here. This is the budget version. I would go for these guys. I have a stack put away. Why not? At least R09 this because I mean at a dollar, why not? 10 bucks gets you nine. Man, don't sleep on it. Then you have the first Ed original print. This card used to be worth a whopping $55, but it used to be a $20 card forever. Then in 3X, this came out max rarity, level one spellcaster, broken card, negates monster effects, essentially. Guys, guys, it's just so good. Quick effect, man. Look at that. Seven bucks used to be a what? A three, three dollar. Look at that. 286. I got me nine of these. Um, why not? They were like two dollars and fifty cents. I'm like, this card is just too good. 20 bucks, throw it to the side, and I'm already up 3x. That's yo, this crazy man. It's crazy. Such a great card. Only 54 listings. I uh, cards like these, I like max rarity, even though you know they're not first dead original print. I love the max rarity broken card. I wouldn't be surprised to see this card at ten dollars in the near future. It's just too good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we have Bistial magnumut guys guys this card used to be worth 20 billies now back down it's one copy here but really a nine dollar card so it's down 
a little bit over 50% for the super rare from dark wing blast bestials are falling a little bit out of favor per se it's a super rare so the supply is there there's still demand obviously great engine great card but man down 50 percent yikes that that's that ain't easy man then we have notoria cards guys notoria deck is you know all over the place now part of the meta you know as a rogue strategy but <clears throat> even good players are using this deck as of late you know in regional competition and things of that nature so i mean i i love this ghost rare honestly it looks beautiful some people don't like gold ghost rares it's all right but you have the the dt the original du dual terminal 50 dollar card then you have the ghost rare at around 17 billies then the secret rare is getting bought out around 15 right now same for the ultras from legendary collection 5 these 12 13 dollar card it used to be five wow and then you have the gold ring mm, i mean what i would be picking up right now is the budget version because all the other ones have spiked even though look at this spike here it's still at around a dollar don't miss out on this card only 54 listings dt hidden arsenal chapter one some people like the new printings some people don't honestly if you need access to the card at around a dollar it is not bad at all and it's still holographic and even to invest you know if you can get a couple of copies at a buck maybe a place that that is not bad because this can definitely be a multi-dollar card look at it after these walls here it quickly becomes a two dollar card wow it's just insane 44 listings don't sleep on this card just don't don't do it guys and then we have nat beast obviously you know we have the original dt at around 140 then we have the um net the the secret rare which is pumping up then all other copies are two to three to four dollars so don't sleep on this card they also had a dual terminal uh hidden arsenal reprint recently which we're gonna check and then the dual power most people are going for this one because it just looks clean ultra rare if you clean these listings janitor style guys you do see we only have 46 listings so under 50 listings a big wall at 25 um copies here at three bucks and then another one at around 350 but hey the demand is here the draws the the walls dry up then it becomes a four dollar eventually a five dollar card don't sleep on that piece it's just too good it's broken it is in the gate spell cards for your opponents basically i mean for you too but you wouldn't you, you guys know what i mean just broken too good of a card then you have the secret rare here wow this thing is getting cleaned out of the market only three copies straight buyouts mode this card is in bio mode look at that 20 billies for this card only a place that left in the market just cleaned out that's when you know the demand is there the deck is so good and don't sleep on you know don't sleep on these cards get them sooner rather than later there's a couple at two bucks here for the dt hidden arsenal you have a walls at two bucks so still accessible card you know don't sleep on barkeon and peace guys then we have sprite starter um sprites are all over the place such a great deck we do see that the first eds here have been going down a little bit at around 1166 uh the 12 bucks but the major was at 1337 so i mean great card 43 listings under 50 listings it has been going up retracing a little bit back to the mean but overall in a straight uptrend used to be a three four dollar card and now it's 13 to 15 dollars wow basically a 3x a card that is very much needed for sprite same with um sprint or sprite you guys already know i mean wow look at this card used to be six billies and now is wow you have a couple of sellers here and there but the first gold star is at 15 dollars, so that's more than a 2x only 28 listings single print from dark wind wing blast don't sleep on this card if you're playing sprites you need it so i mean konami's gonna reprint it down the line but if you need it you should get it then you have gigantic champion sargus guys used to be a four dollar card pumped up to 12 that's three x but lately coming back down to the mean a little bit to eight dollars still up 2x from the previous price it's a card very much needed almost under 100 listing single print from photon hypernova don't sleep on this generic level eight guys it's so good such a broken card then we have muckracker from the underworld look at that it used to be a five six dollar card and it has spiked recently wow the 17 billies for this card essentially insane quickly goes up to 20 only 27 listings in the market you do have the the 
um sneak peek i believe so ultra around there as well but other than that ultra rare copy is essentially a single print secret rare because that was a sneak peek hard to get but yeah man it's just hard to get that's the whole point you know what i mean such a great card and you can see it reflecting in the cards price just spiking into oblivion then you have Borload savage dragon just such a great card guys don't take for granted that it got recently reprinted look at the uptrend it's been for the past couple of months went all the way down to six seven d5 and now is essentially a ten dollar nine ten dollar card already guys that's up 30 percent in the last couple of months only 50 listings only 50 don't sleep on this card of course you have the original for print first that ultra rares and then you have the prismatics i love these guys uh this one i love prismatic secrets it just doesn't get old look at that card wow look at the secret rare in the top two how it looks and this shiny and the star I, I love this look at the spike recently don't sleep on this card just generic generic level eight synchro broken boss monster ten dollars flat don't let this be 15 or 20s before you pick them up at least get at least one copy for you to play it and then uh, you go on from there guys then you have celine same deal from crystal revenge don't sleep on this card it's been consolidating trying to form a bottom quickly becomes an eight to eight dollar and fifty cents card eventually ten don't let it get to ten before you get your copies you do see here 68 listings but not major walls that's really the key it's a hard card to get you know a couple of play sets here and there but all in all this is an easy ten dollar card soon and then don't don't wait until it's 15 20 is just such a great card it is guys and and again cards like these is when i like to go back and just analyze the markets go back to the past look at that recent spike here from the lows but this card used to be 50 billies 50 dollar ultra rare guys what the there's only two printings once this one dries up what do you think is gonna happen this is an easy 20 dollars card down the line again if konami doesn't reprint it and all that good stuff but for now only two printings the demand is there don't pay 2x up at 15 or even 20 bucks for this card get your copies now then you have number f0 since it came out wow it's just been on an uptrend crazy 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 i got mine around four or five dollars and i mean you do see it here at seven bucks still so that's not bad still a seven dollar card don't sleep on it you know i got mines around fours 67 listings i'm almost up 2x again don't let this be a ten dollar card i see it hey i mean it does have an ultra rare from uh king's court i mean as you can see it there kiko but i mean honestly i would just go with the secret only two printings who knows when this is gonna get reprinted don't pay ten dollars in this car when you can get it you know at seven bucks right now and who knows it might keep going up from there because look at that straight uptrend on the chart the demand is there massive demand for the card then you have spellbound guys quick play from dark wing blast secret rare single print don't sleep on it look at the recent spike has been consolidating sideways for the most part but again it's still a six dollar card <clears throat> excuse me don't be the one paying ten bucks for this card just don't do it don't do it in the future get your copies now of course if it gets a reprint then at least you have the first at original print secret rare so not a bad card to get gravekeepers inscription guys from photon hypernova just been going down it came it made a, a local bottom here at seven eight bucks pumped up to 12 13 and then it has been in free fall ever since down 3x yikes such a good card with a great effect now at three dollars and 75 cents a couple of copies the play sets are more along you know the 485s the five billies so it's essentially a five dollar card almost under 100 listings but it's so good it's so good it goes for the graveyard such a great spell card secret rare beautiful artwork don't sleep on this card and now it's down 3x on so not a bad idea i might snipe me a couple of these myself then you have gold pride the crowd goes wild this pump from the four or five dollar lows up to nine ten bucks now back down to the mean around six bucks you could say for gold pride players i mean first ed original print secret rares if you're running the deck you know now on this retrace here back to the mean you might want to white you might want to pick up your copies you know for yourself then we have kaijus guys look at that look at that insane chart just a double up <clears throat> one month ago this card was eight bucks guys eight billies and in one month this thing just doubled up in price insane insane 
Look at that. It's a $14 card. It was seven, eight dollars. Quickly goes up to 20. Yo, insanity. Straight insanity, guys. Wow. OTS tournament pack for super rare cumongous. This card looks beautiful. I will not lie. It just does. It looks beautiful. And then it's the only holographic. You do have a rare and commons, but hey, nothing like that holographic kaiju for your deck. Same with Jizukiru. It used to be a $2.75 card. Hey. No longer that. There's one copy at four, a couple here, and then it's a $5 card, guys. Essentially up a 2X, super rare from OTS Pack 10. It's needed. Trains play this, and then Kaiju's overall. Again, the only holographic print. That's why these are being targeted. Don't sleep on this card. I, I, hey, I, I'm not going to be surprised if it becomes a $10 super rare, so don't sleep on it. And then you have Dogaran, guys. You have the secret and the super and look at that even the super rare is pumping up from its lows wow this used to be a two dollar and thirty cent card no one cared about it it's up more than 2x in the past couple of days just spiking to five dollars for the super rare only 15 listings left wow insane but the one that i would focus on would be the secret rare secret rare guys this is where it's at look at that beautiful beautiful speed dual secret rare these look so clean man you need to see them before yourself just how the fire you know glows and the background i love this card thankfully i own nine this and got my copy for myself apart from that because it was just easy money look at that two dollar card two dollars and thirty cents five dollars uh, yeah, of course you got a couple of you know um um walls at five and things but that's more than two x in just a couple of days only 20 listings left right here guys don't sleep on dogoran secret rare max rarity this can easily be a ten dollar card down the line make sure you get access to this kaiju it's broken works well you know with dinos and you don't want to miss out great great beautiful card then you have slumber obviously we discussed it pre in one of our previous market watches but just wanted to give an update still a seven to eight dollar card but again only 26 listings guys let's see if we clean it up 24 look at that only three pages not too many walls only a couple of play sets here and there wow don't sleep on this card look at that the wall comes at 25 dollars for this card max rarity secret rare from battles of legend heroes revenge don't sleep on it of course you do have an ultra from brothers of legend i believe so in the first set original print super rares but i mean if you want to go budget there's plenty of of uh options here and this ultra's clean is not bad it's budget plenty of listings in the market but you already know the bling man that bling the contrast that looks so beautiful that card then you have time thief redoer guys broken max rarity prismatic secret look at that it used to be two dollars and fifty cents boom just pumped up doubled up to five billies a couple of walls here and there but hey only 36 listings the card is broken don't sleep on this you have a super rare ots ultra rare here and there you have budget options but this is where it's at i love how this card looks then you have sky striker mobilized linkage only single print sky striker card don't sleep on this card we, we're consolidating at the lows it's around a dollar sixty almost two dollars for this card and i could see this at five dollars down the line why because it's hard to get it came in mama right now it's out there and in binders and things of that nature but then a single print when sky strikers become more relevant you know don't sleep on this quick play spell sky striker card then you have totally awesome from mama as well a two dollar card don't let this toad be five bucks before you get your copy ultra rare holographic clean fresh off the press mint copy don't sleep on it it's toad right now it's not relevant ruin and toad and got hit that's hard that's harsh i won't lie but hey sharks bring this out with bahamut and other decks too so don't sleep on the toad and then you have the purelys they've been retracing a little bit you know not too much but it's a 27 dollar card when it was 30 the other day so that's down three bucks a copy only 27 listings that card looks beautiful then you have memory as well pretty memory spiked up retracing a little bit to the mean used to be 30 billies as well now back down to 25 just wanted to give an update there and then you have my friend purely this is the one that has consistently had an uptrend as of late and while the other ones have gone down a little bit this one used to be 15 bucks now at 17.50 and quickly goes to 20 dollars don't sleep on purely's they come out in amazing defenders people were in opening clamoring for that 
you know, set. So these cards are hard to get. And I expect them to continue going up until eventually they get a reprint. The last card of the day, Magician of Black Chaos Max. I mean, who's looking at these cards? Who Just honestly. I just want, hey, leave a comment down below. Let me know. $5 here. Let's see. All right, you have a couple here at three. It's a $3.50 card. Quickly goes up to four, a couple of walls. But this card used to be a dollar. A dollar. That's when I got mine. I got like 20 of these. And look, the demand is there. That's crazy. I'm like, it's from the 2019 Gozark Tin, uh, tin Prismatic Secret Rare Single Print Magician of Black Chaos Max. Beautiful artwork. It was an easy pickings. I went in, got me a stack, and now. I love these results. It looked beautiful. If you want the card, though, there's a couple of copies here at $2.27. If you need the card, if you love Dark Magicians or play the deck, not bad to at least get access to a single print. Who knows when Konami's going to reprint it? But hey, massive spike from $1 to $3 to $4. That's 3 to 4x. Wow, in just a month, guys. Insanity. Straight insanity guys if you enjoy the content don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel as well click the notification bell thank you so much for your time for your attention for your support and i hope you guys have a good one